Hello everybody, welcome to this video. So in this video I'm going to show you how to insert an image into your website using HTML5. So as you notice right here I have this page and it says my neighborhood but there is nothing there. So it just says my neighborhood but I want people to see my neighborhood, okay? I want people to see the neighborhood that I have. So I want to add a, a, an image of my neighborhood underneath this text. Okay, so let's get to the coding now. And as you notice, I have a header one where it says my neighborhood. And you saw it, it just this text. Okay, so now it's just like that. Now on desktop, and uh, I mean, uh, I have my uh, image right here. So this is the document. And this is the image itself. It says neighborhood. So the name of the image it's called neighborhood and the type of it is called PNG so it is a PNG picture so now I'm going to get to the coding and underneath it I'm going to use lesson sign IMG and we close it so it has no ending tag like any like the other HTML tags however this one is just an image tag and an image element represents an image okay so this will be the place of the image so now we want to locate that image so now we know it's right here and I have my file here so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this attribute it's called src which is source so src equals to two quotation marks and then from here I'm going to type in the name of the image so neighbor neighborhood dot png okay so you must make sure that you include the you know the extension of the image so right now it's, it's a png type that i have so i just type in neighborhood dot png but yours could be jpeg so you should type in dot jpeg okay so I just did that so I'm going to save it and refresh my page here so reload okay so here is the neighborhood image that I have however this is not what I want I want it to be a little bit smaller because this size is I don't know it's too big okay so I want to resize it so there are two ways that we do it there is an old way that I'm going to show you. So you add two more attributes. Okay, this is the old way that I'm showing you now. So width, we say width equals two and two quotation marks. Uh, so this is pure HTML, okay? So this is pure HTML so far. So I'm going to say width, and I'm going to say, I don't know, 270, 260, and the height, I'm going to say probably 100. I know it's going to be small, but let's see. So I'm going to save it and refresh it. So as you notice, it's a little bit small, and I don't know, it doesn't look good. But it's still, you know, re re resize it. Maybe I can reduce the uh, the width, maybe to 200. Let's see how it looks like. So now it's much better. So, however. This is the old way that we did it. There is a new way that uh, you should know how to do it. So this is the old way that we did it with pure HTML. Okay, so this is all HTML5. However, there is a new way that a lot of developers use. They use the style and they use CSS to resize the images and add other, you know, things that they what that they want. So right here I have the width and the height so these are obsolete nowadays developers don't use these two attributes the width and the height however there is a you know an attribute that you should know it's called style so with the style you add CSS so you say equals so style equals to and you open two quotation marks and then you just use CSS so width so we say width colon and then 
we add whatever you want so I want to make it 200 or actually 200 maybe 300 300 pixels and put a semicolon there put a space there and then just type in height colon and right here add a height there so I'm going to say probably 320 pixels okay and put a semicolon there okay so now we did this it should resize it so let me save it and refresh it as you notice we have resized it using uh, CSS so now it's it looks nicer you know and uh, this is how we do it however let me show you one more thing so let's let me just delete the source I'm not going to delete the style I'm going to keep the style there so I'm just going to you know delete the source and I'm going to create a new folder here so let's say that you have a folder called images and you have your image inside of that folder okay so now my index document is here so my HTML document is here and I have my image inside of that images images folder right here so what if I want to access that image folder well it's easy so now if I save it and refresh it you'll notice that it's an empty I have the the width and stuff like that but I don't have an image so what if I have an image inside of a folder how do I do it well I still use the source so src equals to double quotes just like that and then we use the name of the folder so it's called images and then to open that folder you will need a forward slash and then you type in the name of the image so it's called neighborhood dot and I believe it was a PNG yeah it was PNG so neighborhood dot PNG so I'm going to save it and refresh it you'll notice that we opened that folder and we have inserted that image from that folder okay so I have showed you a couple of things so if you have any questions let me know I'll be able to help you but I'm here to you know I'm always here to help and uh, you know there is one one more attribute that I want to show it to you it's called the alt attribute so the alt attribute is just like a text you add it to your image and I mean if it, if it doesn't load or you know some people they have problems uh, with accessibility so they'll be able to see the text okay some people have slow internet so so I, I can I can say my neighborhood image just like that okay so my neighborhood image so just like that Okay, I have added that attribute there. So here's how you insert an image into your HTML5 document. All right, everybody. If you have any questions, as always, ask me. And if you have any ideas, suggestions, feel free to comment. And I will catch you later, buddies.